Hey, hi all. Welcome back to BLM Knowledge Center. In this session, we'll look at uh, what are all these on-start and on-stop task set methods. When you create a locust or testing script, so uh, each task set is having uh, on-start and on-stop methods for the simulated uses. So when you start running off your locust uh, load test script file, then it is going to fire on start method inside of your load test script. And when you stop your load testing uh, from the locust by just pressing control C or just killing off your load test, or you are just ending your uh, load test from the um, low, locust UI, then the on stop is going to fire. Let's see like how these are working in the uh, practical examples. Let me quickly get into my Visual Studio Coder. Uh, see like uh, how I'm going to write these methods. So this is what my um, previous example right here. So uh, I think I'll continue with this. So in this, what I'm trying to do is, um, I have two tasks here, right? Task one and task two, right? And along with this task, we have defined, right? On start of self. This is one method we have it. And another thing is, right? Define on stop of self method. To just uh, verify these methods, just see that print. Uh, load test started. Okay. And here I'll say load test finished. Let's see like how, how these are firing now. I'm just going back here and just clearing now. And when I run this, my uh, uh, locust param pass value, right? When I hit that, so it will hit first load start, load test started, right? And then it is coming here, task one. And because of it is taking much of time and again, it is hit test task two and then comes to task two and then fetching the response back and again, fetching response back and fetching response back and fetching response back. Okay, so when I press Control C, then my on stop is going to fire it. So where is that print we have written? This is the print load test finished. So on stopping of your load test or uh, you know uh, killing of load test, it is going to fire on stop. That's what uh, it is going to execute. So if you can see here, it's automatically coming out. Like let us say like minus user minus t uh, three headless. So it will start my load test started task one task two, and then task two it is finishing on stop. So uh, this on on stop is going to fire in two ways. One is as soon as the test is finished, then it is coming here and it is just uh, executing whatever task you have been defined on stop. Or else, when you kill your running load test, also it is going to fire it here. So when it comes to real scenario, real scenario this on start we actually use it for a login page, so where you can log in into the system by just specifying users and user credentials. That is one time job always for your website hitting. So or getting a token from your uh, API or any uh, service that you just mentioned that first stop here token getting. And in the coming of unstop, so this is just kind of log off or shutdown kind of uh, a task you are having it in your web API website. So whatever uh, logic you have in the log off, just mention log off stuff here. That means login will anyway execute on as soon as you start your load test. But log off also will work out or execute as soon as soon as your load test is getting finished, or when you kill or stop your load test explicitly by just pressing control C also it is going to fire. So coming to this example in the on start. So here I'm just getting your locations here, right? So now I wanted to add some locations to my, um, uh, this locations API. And then I wanted to fetch my locations. See like how I'm going to do that in the uh, on start. Here coming here. So to do that locations, so let me see like the kind of uh, syntax I have it. Uh, what is that? If you look at here, these are the locations, right? I have one, two, three locations, which basically having location ID, name, number, address, one address to country, city. 
I'm going to build this JSON and then pass it to my locations API to uh, save, right? So same thing, I would do that in my onstart. Let's create that uh, kind of payload equal to, it will come here. Mm. Payload equal to, right? I'm just defining my payload here. So I think uh, I have the syntax. Let me copy that in stuff, I think. So I'll just keep that syntax. This is my payload, payload and this is my response. So let me copy that. Right, so just to set the indent. This is my payload here. I'm just passing, you know, uh, location ID. This is new, and this is the hospital and the number and address one, address two, and India two new, and city new. Right, so I'm just printing this. How it is uh, forming in JSON? That's when just printing, and this is something as JSON type. I'm having it input right. Hence, I'm just defining my uh, content type also as a kind of uh, configuration, I mean, a kind of JSON syntax, content type equal to application JSON. So with a, a client, uh, you know, uh, object, I'm just using post here. Basically, we have a get post patch uh, update kind of stuff in this particular client. So let me see that, uh, yeah. So you can see patch here we have for update and delete operations. We can see delete we have, we have a get, now we have post, we need now post because we are just posting or saving this stuff into uh, locations API, right? With the locations. And this is the post request, I'm going to find it. And then I'm going to use this JSON dumps because I wanted to convert this particular object into a string and so I'm going to use JSON.dumps. So I think we need to import JSON in this case. So import, right? I think I didn't see that exception here. So now uh, I'm just printing the status code. I'm just checking my status code is 200 locations added. If it is not uh, 200, then I'm going to get this error, right? Let me see that. So just going back uh, to my uh, compile command prompt and see like how I'm going to run this. So as I mentioned, this function is going to start very initially because this is the onstart and inside of onstart, I've written this adding of locations. So far, I have uh, only two locations, right? This is the three locations I have. Let me see like whether the location is added or not. And going to my command prompt, I'm just clearing this. I'm just running this command. Now see, uh, location load is started. Okay, it seems location fetching request get failure. Why so? Uh, location error in adding locations. Why? Uh, let me refresh this. It's not added. Let me see what is the problem inside of it. Uh, we added locations here, right? And then we just uh, pass the complete JSON locations. Okay, 5190, is it true? Uh, I don't think so. This is something you are, it's different. We have it. Let me clear this and see now and clear this and just start running same script and see that lot is started error in adding locations so okay let me check this not added so thing is i think uh, this configuration is taking out uh let me rename this and this is what my stuff here, right? I'm just keeping here post locations and the data and headers to to do right. And after that, I'm going to fetch this, right? This is my second task. So 200 is not returning. What is returning in this status score? Let me see that. I'm going to see that 200 is not returned. Uh, it is returning 400. Why? um let me check that now again uh headless oh my god so something which is running okay what is the problem i'm having it uh, you must specify the base oh okay so we are not mentioning whole struggles here right so what we will do is we are not run through this since we have to define host here. So I think uh, this host you can you need to assign it here. 
and now if you can run and see like how it is running yeah my location is added and you can see and uh, here i think you can go to your browser and see like how many locations it is fetching uh still not fetching too much okay let me attach my service and see like how it is coming now uh not getting locations it is about saving locations right i'm just keeping debugger and see um, whether it is hitting or not and just run through this and run here and uh, see that oh okay and um, something printing 400 error in adding might be it is taking some time so i think we must specify some more time here Five seconds and see that how it is running. Error in reading locations. Wow. So, what was the problem inside of it? It is not for. It is not at all hitting my locations. Uh. Okay. Zero one. Thirty. And is something it is reading anything? Not at all. Not at all. So. Let us see like what else is causing here because locations are not adding it. Locations HTTP localhost 5190. Uh, host I've been given wait time and uh, this is not required. And payload I'm just printing this and just passing data JSON terms and parameters. Status code is not coming as 200. Why? Okay, let me handle this in a different way, I think. What else can do that? Mm. Let me give this as something, runtime duration, 400, still 400. Why? It's not the case, right? We are clearly passing the values. 400 white is coming. Okay, what else we have done mistake? Task one and five one nine zero. We have defined it. Define on start payload. Uh, everything is fine. Uh, local host. Uh, something missing. Let me remove this. Let me remove this. Okay. So it's causing now nothing. So host I mentioned very clearly here. Let me try again. Run through. Uh, uh, still uh, an error. Let me see that stuff uh, what I have here. I think the same stuff I've been done here. Location and this is the same stuff I've been declared as usually. And coming here, and this is my default function, and this is how I will define. And my host name, and I think this stuff is not working out here. Why? Uh, what is the problem inside of it? Did I do a mistake? 5190 locations. This is fine and running. Why it is not running? Is this required any configuration? User one. Oh, now it has heated to save. Okay. Now it has added. So location is added here. Go and see. Uh do not one and then it is added my location new location and then if you go here i think post request get request and go and see here locations it has been added now so i think uh, what was the mistake we did let me see that mm, okay anything we did a mistake uh, load testing self print and parameters and this content type we have been defined. I think everything is fine here. I don't see any problem here. So this is something. 
So this is how I've been defined in the on start so that it is adding locations. And again, if you wanted to run it again, it is going to add one more time the location, same location. Load process started, this location is added, right? And again, I'm going and fetching here. I think it is uh, hitting here, debugger. And when I hit that, location is going to add it, right? So when I go and see here in my uh, real example of this, so one more time it has been added. And uh, uh, I'm going to run through and again it is adding one more time. Adding error. So again it started. Let me start running so that you will not see this problem again. Okay. Cool. And clear this. So run my location here so that it will give you the default two locations as usual and then we're going to add new location and see like how it is updating okay let me do this locations so now i have three locations default sorry three locations now i'm going to hit my uh, locust file here now it is adding now error error in adding locations okay might be 291 also in a valid response port so hence it is having some problem so if you look at the response uh reading through right so this is unstop is finished now it seems the time is not uh, uh set here i think um, we can go uh, uh 10 more seconds let, let us see like what is happening 201 is a valid code. I think we have to uh, uh, change that script because uh, 200 201 is still valid. So instead of, I mean, along with this condition, so you can say that our resp dot uh, status code equal to equal to 201, right? So that my locations are added because when I replace this, my locations is added here. This functionality is the flow, the technical flow, everything is working fine here. I'm just clearing again now. I'm just running through and then now see that. So locations added this time. And these are the locations coming out here. So this is something the on start and on stop functions are working. So I mentioned here the time is 10 seconds. So till 10 seconds, it will get start executing my script. So and it is not coming out uh, from that. So if you wanted to explicitly kill this process, just press control C so that my on stop is going to now execute and uh, print the uh, action whatever action you have mentioned in the on stop is going to be displayed in the console so here this is something i mentioned it if you wanted to do that something on on stop like removal of location you can do the same thing here i'm just uh, taking the same like you know uh, i think i'll only take this thing this time uh, let me go back here. Uh, load test finished. Like let us say self dot client dot delete. So I'm going to delete the location whatever have been added. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this. Uh, I think the location ID we need to pass it. I'm going to pass this value. Let us say and see like how it is uh, uh, doing that. So, so far in my locations API, I have, you know, these many locations, even I have a triple one, four ones location, four one location ID entries. And I'll stop, I'm going to delete this stuff. Now let me see that how it is working. So I'm going to run this, uh, like, you know, I think five seconds. I'm just running through location added and then location one and then location two. My God, what happened? This is something it is expected sequence contains more than one matching element. So it has duplicate values, it seems, hence it is not going to work out in this case. Okay. So we have uh, different uh, IDs. I mean, same entries we have multiple times, since my logic is not working. I think I have to change this logic in the API, uh, delete locations. So um, single or default. So I think, uh, I think instead of changing it here, I think let's start a fresh location and then see like how it is 
working. Uh, let me keep a debugger here, my uh, endpoint of delete. So this is a delete, right? So I'm just keeping a debugger. I'm just freshly starting my API so that I'll get only three locations with uh, unique uh, different uh, location IDs. Uh, going to my browser and see like uh, how the locations are coming over by default. These three are coming now, right? So with that load test uh, uh, through Locustio, I'm going to add this location, right? Triple one. Um, and then now see like uh, how it is running now. So I'm just running now. So if you look at here, my location is added. Then it is fetching my location along with my other three records. So far fine. When the location started, when the uh, API, whatever API hit endpoint we have mentioned in the on stop, when I say control C, it is hitting delete location. It is getting through four ones and uh, go back to your original api and see that location is added or not right so so far the location is added because it is running uh, you know you know the debugger is having inside of it and when i press that it is going to remove that this it also went to my web server and when i go and see here i always have only three entries i i didn't see that another entry here if you want to remove this 3387 or something you can give that here instead of that triple one uh, so that it will start. So basically what I'm trying to say is you can use this Locustio, right? Uh, for unit testing as well or web test or kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, performance testing. So however way you wanted it, you can use it. So only thing is in the session, we are concentrating on stop and on stop. In this on stop, I'm just uh, adding location and after other tasks are fetching locations and on stop, I'm going to remove the added location. That is what I'm doing it here. So, so far I have three locations and then I'm again hitting my uh, locust file so that it will add my location, added location and task one. And it is hitting to my API for the delete operation. So I think I'll remove that attack point and I'll go and just press that triple one is coming now. And when I refresh that, right so let me see what is the problem inside of it um, i think when i hit that two locations being you know uh, removed here when i refresh that you can see our first entry was removed and recently added location also removed so that means two hits are going to my web server right this is how uh, the on start and on stop endpoint i mean uh, the locust methods are executing uh, as part of load test execution okay so I hope you understand like uh, how the unstart is running now without a task decorator because unstart and unstop are the built-in method instead of locust. No need of having this decorator. So the decorator only having it for the customized or newly written scripts by the end user. But these are defined by instead of locust, so you can just use it instead of this method, the definition you can customize it and you write whatever uh, actions you wanted to perform it, okay? So I hope you understood the unstart and unstop methods, how it is running through Locust and how they are going to execute. Okay, basically unstart will start executing the load test script when the load test started executing the Locust file. And unstop will execute when you stop the load, load test through Locust UI, stop test, or you just pressing on control C and killing of load test uh, scenario also going to hit unstop. Okay, thanks for listening to this video and please subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you.